Okay, today is the day. We have got something very, very special in the mail from our friends at the Green Explorers Club. Oh my gosh, does anybody have any guesses on what this could be? A science kit. A science kit? That is a great guess. Ooh, project box. Compost, it's for the compost in our yard. Check it out, see this? Green Explorers Club, free science kit. Wow. wow, check it out. What is it? Look, what's That's inside? That's a picture. I'm so excited. Whoa. What is it? Check it out. What is this, guys? What is that? Oh, guys, look. Oh, Andy. Oh, my gosh. Look, look. Yay. This is so cool. Um, what are these? We're going to, well, what is this? Taylor, can you read that? It says soil, organic, organic freezer? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. What? Organic fertilizers in two bottles. One for each of you. <laughs> you guys are gonna learn the science behind compost because I just started a compost pile and I'm having a little bit of trouble. So I'm very excited to learn the right way to do compost from our friends at Green Explorers Club. Open the bottle. Hey, Let's open the bottle. What are these? Worms. Worms. That's right. <laughs> The soil because they're wiggling in the ground. The wiggly little worms needed water to come out. Down came the rain. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oops, do you see this animal? A duck. That's so cute. A duck. I love it. Wow, compost stew. Are you guys ready to read this book with me? Yeah! Compost stew, an A to Z recipe for the earth by Mary McKenna Siddalls, illustrated by Ashley Wolf. Environmental chefs, here's a recipe for you to fix from scratch to mix a batch of compost stew. Ew. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> All right. Ingredients. Apple cores, bananas bruised, coffee grounds with filters used. You guys see me and Dad putting our coffee filters in the compost, right? Look, he's got a little filter. See, I wonder if he gets his Chemex filters uh, from Intelligentsia like we do. <laughs> All right. Here. Dirt clods crumbled, eggshells crushed, fruit pulp left behind, all mushed. Grass clippings, hair snippings. When we cut your hair, we should have put them in the compost. Yeah. That would have been cool. Yeah. I never thought of that and an insect or two. Just add to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. Wow, that's awesome. Save, okay, so don't throw this away. Jack-o'-lanterns, kitchen scraps, laundry lint from dryer traps. I never knew about that. We can save this from our laundry. The, dry, the dryer lint, that's cool, I didn't know that. Mulch removed from garden beds, nutshells, oatmeal, paper shreds. Oh wow, that's cool. Quarry dust, rye bread crust, and seaweed strands. A few. Just add it to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. Take tea bags plucked from long hot swimmings, underbrush prunings, vegetable trimmings, Wiggly worms with compost cravings, Christmas tree needles, yellow pine shavings, and zinnia heads from flower beds whose blooming days are through. Just add it to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. Nice. Moisten, toss lightly, cover, let brew. And when the cooking is complete, Mother Earth will have a treat. Dark and crumbly, rich and sweet. Now open the pot and what have you got? Compost stew! <laughs> nice! We are so excited about the Green Explorers Club and their new at-home project boxes. Now, kids ages four to nine can explore what it means to be sustainable. There are five different fun boxes to choose from. Soil, monarchs, coral reefs, African savanna, and compost. Use code Miss Jamie for 10% off your box purchase. Link in bio or comments. Thank, Thank you, you Green Explorers Club! Explorers Club.